So I decided to do a little painting in honor of Juneteenth, and this is just to kind of show you some techniques with acrylic paints that can be used for abstract art. So I'm using some Floetrol, and these are the paints that I'm using. Golden acrylics are my favorite, but sometimes I can't afford to only use that brand, so I have some other brands here that are added in. What I did is I added the Floetrol and some water to the acrylic paint, and I used a Thalo Blue, a yellow, cadmium yellow, and a sap green, as well as a um, thalo green for the green to make just the right shade of green. So just shake that up so it's nice and liquid. And then I, what I'm gonna do is put the black on um, just as a toner. So I just kind of put a little bit of black on the canvas. And then I'm going to actually use a washcloth to move that around to get kind of a nice um, distressed texture so you can just use an old washcloth and um, kind of dab it around until it almost looks like denim um, on the canvas and this just always is a good idea to do a some kind of a toning of the canvas so it's not just white canvas under the paint so that if there are any areas that show through it's going to be more interesting than looking like an unfinished canvas so this is kind of just a little texturizer and um, color for the under part of the painting. Then I'm gonna just go ahead and squeeze on some red. So I'm doing a little remix of the Pan-African flag. So red, black, and green are my colors that I'm using. This is a nice cadmium red, so it's really vibrant. And I'm just kind of um, squirting it out of these condiment bottles because it's really smooth and I'm gonna add a lot of paint to this just to make sure that the surface is really well coated so that we can get some little cell action going on with the flow trawl and also um, keep those sections of color kind of equal um, with the red and, and black and green. Now I'm just kind of tipping the canvas and you can see how liquid it is. So one method of getting stripes is to actually do this pour technique and then um, tip the canvas on its side and the stripes will kind of run down in a straight line but if you want to get some action between the colors you have to tip it this way um, to kind of see some of that action uh, between the colors you can also take a brush and just push the paint up to the other color from within the color like the green what i'm doing here is just um, establishing kind of a border between the black and the green and you can do that in order to get kind of just a nice um, boundary line between the colors and the same with the red because this is so liquid it's moving really quickly so um, i'm just reestablishing the boundaries and you can see that it's just you know done with a brush and um, you can add in some more paint so that the red doesn't you know bleed out so just keep brushing and kind of coaching those areas into the size of the shapes that you want them to be you can also push of course in the opposite direction from within the black toward the red or toward the green to extend those areas so even if you're wanting to do something like pulling the black into the green for some some um, parallel um, stripes or some perpendicular stripes or whatever you can definitely do that just from within the black into the green the only thing is that you do have to wipe your brush off unless you want the green to go back into the black for a second brush stroke so um, when I was brushing within the black, I just kind of like kept the brush wiped off. You can see I was wiping it on the table and my table is well used for art. So I don't mind making a mess on it. And, um, this is all acrylic paint, so it's water soluble. And that means that it also cleans up well with water. So then what I did is I just um, kind of tipped the canvas sideways and let the black run into each of the colors 
and then um, squirted some of the red inside of one of the areas of black and then squirted some of the green on the other stripe into um, an area where I'd extended the black. So this is kind of like just to create more visual interest. So this is what the final piece looks like. And you can see that that red and green are complementary colors. They create so much color energy right next to each other in those two dots. And um, the table is quite a mess, which is fine. You can either use this paint, stir it up together, make another color or just wipe it up. And I'm gonna mount this. I actually varnished the surface and painted the sides, all the edges um, black. And then I have a little black easel to mount it on. So it's a miniature, it's a four by four inch canvas. So hopefully this helps you and maybe you're inspired to create your own little miniature abstract painting. Happy painting!